man. So, we are Keith Lee coming back to ruffle some feathers and make some people happy as hell. So, what he's doing today is revealing his list in order ranking the different cities that he delivered on his family food tour. Some people gonna be happy, like I said. Some people gonna be sad, and it is what it is. Let's tap in with Keith Lee and see what he got to say, then we'll come back with some reactions, all right? On August 4th of this year, the Keith Lee and Family Food Tour started. So that's five months of touring, and it's the end of the year. So this is my official list of the places that we went to on the Keith Lee and Family Food Tour. Ranked from least favorite to most favorite, in my personal opinion. Again, my personal opinion. I don't mean no harm. I don't have no malicious intent. And I ain't gonna lie, making this list was kind of hard. It was a lot of these that could have been tied, but I ended up putting them in the list. So let's talk about it. We went to eight different spots. We're gonna start from least favorite to most favorite. And at number eight, Atlanta. My biggest issue with Atlanta is that it was hard for us to get food. I'm a normal person, but I understand that some people, perception is different. But if other people perceive me as a normal person and I went to Atlanta just to get food, I wouldn't have ate nothing. I mean nothing. And even with people perceiving me the way they perceive me, we still barely ate. But when we did eat, it was delicious. This is a stacked list. Number seven, New York. The issue in New York for me was the spots that we was recommended. I genuinely don't think we got the New York experience, but I tried every avenue I possibly could try to get the New York experience. I reached out to the locals. I reached out to the people who are respected that do food reviews. I reached out to Kasanat. I reached out to everybody I could possibly think to reach out, and we still didn't have that experience. Number six, Detroit. I wanted Detroit to be number one because I'm from there. I'm born and raised there. But us as a team, we had a talk, and the diversity of the other spots kind of outshined Detroit. Now, the food spots we went to were really good. The customer service was really good. But it did like diversity to the other places that we went to. But again, that don't take away from the amazing spots that we were able to go to while we were there. Number five, LA. Now, granted, we didn't do a full food tour there. But we went to LA like 20 times this year. And at the beginning, it was really hard for us to find really good, authentic food spots. But towards the end, we really found some amazing spots that made LA go up on this list. When I say the word diversity, LA and New York is the first two spots to come up in my mind. LA got everything you would think of. And I went on record saying I wasn't a fan of the LA food scene. I retract that statement. After exploring and really going to LA spots, and we haven't even really went to all of the LA spots. We just went to a few. Delicious. Number four, Vegas. Again, when you talk about diversity, melting pot. Vegas opened the door for me when it comes to different foods and different cultures and hearing people's stories and listening to oh, them. I love you, man. Yes. I love you so much. Absolutely and get out of my shell. When I got off the strip and I went to the neighborhoods and I went to the communities and I went to these mom and pop spots, it really opened my eyes. It opened my horizons, it opened doors. I, they could not be in the top four for me. <laughs> and again, this list was really close for me. Detroit, Vegas, and LA, was they was fighting. Now we move on to the top three. Honorable mentions, Miami. We went to Miami, but we didn't do a full food tour there. We just went because I had family there. Some of the food spots we went to, delicious. Some of the food spots we went to, not so delicious. But that's one of the spots that has a lot of culture, so I feel like they was worth mentioning. Number three, Chicago. Almost every time we got food, absolutely delicious. Cleo's. Crazy. Then we met the auntie at Soul Prime. Her food was delicious. It's not much I even got to say about Chicago. It just was an amazing place for me to be in. I loved it there. I ain't gonna lie. Number two, Houston. Speaking of almost every spot that we went to being delicious, Houston was one of those places. It was one place that carried Houston for me. The puttery. I've always been very picky on desserts because I'm not really a huge sweets person. I like sweets, but they got to be very good in my opinion for me to really like them. And the puttery, boy. <laughs> I also can't think of one spot we went to in Houston that we didn't love. This was a stack list. And for me, this was really hard to come to the conclusion. But number one, New Orleans, in my opinion, was set New Orleans apart. Not by much, by like this much, but it did was the custom service. Everywhere we went, we felt like family. I'm talking about, it felt like I was just going to my cousin's house. It didn't feel like I was going to a restaurant. It didn't feel like I was going to an establishment. It felt like I was going to auntie, mama, papa, whoever, whoever house you want to go to. That's what it felt like. And the food. Shit. Everything was fried, dyed, laid to the side. I left 15 pounds heavier. That is not an exaggeration. And would I do it again? Absolutely. Immediately. Today. Right now. Pack the bags. Get on the plane. See y'all later. <laughs> Dead serious. When I say New Orleans was a for show, you're right on. <laughs> Absolutely. In every sense of the word. But with that being said, that concludes my personal list of the first leg of the Keith Lee and Family Food Tour. This year has been absolutely insane. 
I can't say thank you enough. Me and my family's life has changed forever. And I've always said thank you. I'm going to say thank you until the day I can't say thank you no more. And every single time I say it, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I be having to do this a lot. I be having to put things in perspective. We only been on food tour for five months. And I only been doing food reviews for a year. We just getting started. God willingly, 2024 about to be crazy. And I thank you to every single person who's been on this journey with me and continue to be on this journey. At the top of the year, the second leg of the tour will begin. I'll see y'all soon. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. God is amazing. Damn, boy. I know he visited Miami. I know he did, but Miami ain't even make the list of eight. He couldn't even stretch that bitch out of 10 to put Miami on the list. Hey, dog. Hey, I get it, man. You feel me? It is what it is. But let's look at some comments, man. This right here says, Milk and Honey still crying right now. This lady says it was that damn salmon chopped cheese. <laughs> uh, hold on, wait. Let's go over this one more time. Number one, New Orleans. Two, Houston. Three, Chicago. I've been in New Orleans and I've been in Chicago. I might flip Chicago and New Orleans. I might flip Chicago and Chicago and New Orleans because Chicago food was fire. Four, Las Vegas. Five, LA. Six, Detroit. Seven, New York. And last, Atlanta. Now, on this list, I've only been to New Orleans, Chicago, and Atlanta. I haven't been to neither of the other places on here. New Orleans food was five. Chicago, I'll say that that may be one of the top of my list. Like, Chicago was amazing. Atlanta, one thing that always going to sit with me is, like, I'm always remember the first time that I got, um, these lemon pepper hot wings from Atlanta. That shit was always fire to me. I got at some random karaoke bar spot. It was some random place, but them wings was fire as hell. And since then, I've been trying to recapture that fave flavor. Trying to recapture that that the moment, like a goddamn like your first high. That shit was so fire. But um, let's get back to the reactions, man. This person says, as a Texan, I'm 95% okay with New Orleans beating us, okay? I knew Atlanta was going to be dead last. New Orleans deserved that number one spot for sure. As a Houstonian, the only city I believe could ever beat us is New Orleans, so I am on board with this list. I got to go to Houston, man. Lots of people from New Orleans moved to Houston after Katrina so I can see how it's one and two interesting that's a good interesting take i live in chicago i'm from houston we went to college to have family in new orleans the top three are spot on all right um let's see some more reactions this person says keith lee's top eight makes sense to me especially if you've watched this full tour unfold i couldn't agree more with number one in my opinion new orleans has the best food and customer service in the country and i mean that with my whole soul all right so this person right here says definitely not surprised that new orleans was the best city on keith lee's food tour we gave food we gave love vibes and couch couch see these new yorkers they feel some type of way y'all tell me new yorkers don't give a damn they kill this person says he didn't even go to the right places in new york <sighs> This person says, y'all mad in the comments over his list and opinion. Mind you, he keeps saying to me. That's one thing that I respect, you know. He he tries his best to make it clear, but, you know, some people just ain't gonna listen to that. But he keeps saying to me. All right, so as a Chicagoan, I think Vegas was rated too high and New York too low. The only places I haven't been to is Houston, and I agree, nothing touches New Orleans. Miami food scene sucks. Damn, bro. Y'all gotta go to the right places, and I don't know, man. I feel like our food scene is, is crazy because we right here by the Caribbean. You know, I, 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 just, I just think we got some good food. But you got to know the right place to go to. Miami has so much hype. It's kind of similar to Atlanta where it has hype around certain things. So you probably don't know the right place to go to that don't have the hype. That's just like the locals go to all the damn time. And Miami has so much confusion as far as like what's Miami and what's not Miami. It's hard. It's hard to deal with. But um, let's keep it pushing. Chicago in the top three is legit. They got a picture of Zion saying, I see why he can't lose weight. I'm on my way to the NO right now. Right now, I feel you, my boy. But Keith Lee's also viral for this weird ass person doing this saying, people we need to leave in 2023. Now, amongst this list with Krishan and her and Blueface Baby, um, we got Neon, Diddy, Lizzo, Cardi B. This is definitely made by Dan Barb. Definitely made by Barb. But they got Keith Lee on the list. Like, why the hell? This person said, the fuck Keith Lee do but eat? What he did but eat. Y'all be some real haters. For real, man. People really be hating on Keith Lee. But, hey, man. I'm always so loved because the reason why I cover him, because it's refreshing to cover somebody that does their best to spread positivity. But it's interesting to see the negativity that comes with someone trying to do something positive. It's so much content out here that's really negative day after day. And it's 
interesting that people still find one person that's trying his best to be positive really helping businesses not just black businesses but um he does frequent them a lot that's one of his most visit based on what we see but he helps real deal helps and he still get a negativity i think it's just really interesting to view as we view the culture on my channel now we are gonna go to the number one keith lee impersonation and i may be kind of um i may be kind of biased but since miami ain't made the damn list we're gonna put somebody from miami on the goddamn best personation <laughs> for keith lee that's that boy funny he actually went to my actual high school too Kara city this is a funny ass impersonation this is him you know right in the traffic in atlanta take it away my boy today i'm visiting different cities just to see who got the worst traffic and today i'm in atlanta city so i sent my family out there first just to see how the traffic was and unfortunately they still in traffic they never made it back so I got in my car just to see how the traffic was. I got it, let's try it, now I'm stuck in traffic. As you can see, my hand is right here. It's not on the steering wheel because I'm still in traffic. Atlanta traffic, 10 out of 10. It take 10 hours just to go 10 minutes. You miss an exit in Atlanta, you might as well go to another city. While in traffic, there was homeless people asking for money. I usually support homeless people, but not on the highway. One out of 10. I got tired of waiting so long, so I pulled off on the exit. As I went at a red light, I ran into some water boys. Not a good idea. I always support, but never again in Atlanta. Paying for their water is like paying for my water bill. I send in half cash, I get in my cash app. Here's a screenshot of my cash app. As you can see, I thought water was $1, but it was $55. He said, you got finesse twin. Welcome to Atlanta. I got it. Let's try it. Let's rate it one through a 10. As you can see, the water bottle is empty. Tastes like it was stolen. Atlanta water boys, negative one out of 10. Atlanta traffic, 10 out of 10. I'm still, as you can see, I'm waiting in the car. Still nowhere to go. Still got my hands right here. I turned my car off, 10 out of 10. I'm still waiting in traffic. Hey, that boy funny for real, huh? <laughs> Hell nah. But y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about all this in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, though. This was another update with Stace. Yo. Hey, though, the new year's coming up, and you may be trying to get into the best shape of your life. I got you, man. I got the best weight loss fitness program that's helping me go from the body of a fat slob, a fat slob, to the physique of a Greek god. I've grown from 274 pounds to 237 within a matter of months. And listen, just go to the Slide to God website. Any purchase on there, any purchase comes with the workout program and the meal plan that I've been using. And if you have any questions, I mean anything about anything in regards to this weight loss journey, DM me on Instagram or TikTok right now at Slob to God. The link is in the description. Let's unlock our potential and go from Slob to God.